Levinson. For four years, Swimland has been teaching our children the importance of basic water safety skills. And this week, they're applying those skills to help raise money for Swim Vietnam. And joining us now to explain more what it's all about is Jason Arnold, the general manager for Swimland. Welcome. Thank you. Happy to have you here. It's great so, to be here. Let's talk a little bit about Swimland itself. So, so what, what do you do for the kids and for, for families? Biggest focus for us, and I was talking to Paul Sadler yesterday in Australia, since 74, something that hasn't changed is parents enroll their kids in the swimming lessons because they want them to learn how to survive. So that's been consistent over our time in the business, in the industry, I should say. And uh, so we dedicate 10 minutes of every swimming lesson to helping kids learn how to survive, and in particular, tread water for up to two minutes. And, and why is that so important? Like, at what age should you start immersing your children in safety skills for swimming? Well, we start at four months. Um, and we've got kids at the age of two. We actually had a, a, a child last week who was able to tread water for 30 seconds and at the age of two. My goodness. Um, and so that, that opens up two things. One, that they're a lot safer around water and they also gain a skill that opens up a whole lot of recreation pursuits later on in life. Oh, certainly. So, and that's, I think, one of those uh, things that you might be surprised about is how quickly uh, a, a child can can start experiencing drowning a and it's relatively one of those silent killers because there's not these you know these huge motions and signs of a child that's drowning exactly and, and that's one of the things we're extremely passionate about and in Canada it's still a leading cause of death death by drowning kids under the age of five on average 25 children a year and obviously people in the industry that are passionate about the industry want to reduce that number, if not eliminate it altogether, and, and, and we believe it can be done. Indeed. Now let's talk about the Tread-a-thon. Yeah. What's it all about? Tread-a-thon mentioned that every week uh, thousands of kids at Swimland learn how to tread water. We're adding an extra layer literally this week, <laughs> and uh, they're bringing in clothes and to learn how to do, apply those skills with clothes on, which is a totally different experience. And obviously in some of those situations you talk about drowning or near drowning situations, there's many of those, mm -hmm. um, kids aren't used to swinging clothes. So our kids are experiencing that, a lot of them for the first time. And we also add in the other aspect of it, helping one of our charitable causes, which is Swim Vietnam, and helping raise money for that cause. And so kids, get sponsorship from family and friends to try and achieve their treading goal for that week. And why did you decide to, to do this support for Swim Vietnam? When we heard the numbers, and I mentioned before, on average 25 children in Canada a year, in Vietnam it's over 3,500 kids a year die due, due to drowning, and, and they're the records that they know of because uh, families have to pay for a death certificate. The government believes that it's a lot worse than that, and they don't have access to resources. We're blessed in this country that we've got access to pools, clean water, good instruction, um, they don't have those resources, so uh, the money that gets raised from this week and that we've been contributing over the years goes to help uh, build swimming pools and have you know, thousands more kids learn how to swim. Excellent. Now, how can people get involved? Um, if they're passionate about the cause and this has resonated with them, we'd love to get more support so they can contact uh, Swimland and, uh, and we'd be grateful for any donation they can contribute. That's wonderful. Well, thank you so much for coming for in this morning. Us. Glad to have you here. And we certainly hope that it's encouraged you to help out in the Paul Sadler Swimline Canada as they present the Treadathon. It's happening until this coming Sunday. The fundraiser takes place at their location at 5637 Riverbend Road. For more information, call them at 780-800-5505. You can visit them online at paulsadlerswimland.ca. Stay with us. We're back after the break.